Hey there everybody, welcome back with the Plapper Platypus is the name, welcome to another dislike video. Today, we're going to be talking about my three favorite support units. Now there's a few caveats to this. One, I don't have that many support units, alright? I'm not that, I'm not going to pretend to be the, I'm a free to play player, right? I don't even know what most of the legendary ones do. I figure if I don't have them, I don't even really need to know what they do unless I face them in PvP and then I'll look them up beforehand. Um, so I don't have all the espers. Or anything like that but out of the free-to-play experience what my three favorite um, supports have been we're gonna go ahead and jump into that also why is this number three um, because I think most people in most content should be running three supports and now that doesn't mean three healers that means three supports um, now you could potentially run three healers but I probably wouldn't recommend it but one healer two healers and another like more utility character is probably what I recommend but you know, I, I summarize it with saying three supports. So, and I feel like a lot of people run one support, like they'll run a healer and then like four DPS. And as you get later into the game, later into the story, um, things like Kronos are a little bit different because um, you can get really specific teams. But even then, you usually want two supports. Um, but like later in the story, later in the infinite tower, things hit fucking hard. You need supports. You need utility. You can't just expect to out damage these units. Um, especially when there's multiple waves and each wave is potentially as strong as you. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. I might even give a, a an extra one here. I, I'll do a free to play and then yeah, yeah, I'm figuring, I was thinking about how I'd do it. All right. So number one, these are in no particular order, but right here, Chang Poo. Chang Poo, I think everyone kind of knows at this point, she's very free to play friendly. I don't know if anything, most units in this game you could even say are technically free to play, right? You have to pull on the gotcha in order to get this unit. But as you can see, even free to play, I have her not quite. I, I've gotten um, the base copy and then five additional, so I still have one more here. Um, but she's a three star, so she's very easy to get, very easy to skill up. So as far as um, free to play units goes, she's basically at the top of the list. So um, very easy to skill up. So why do I like her so much? She's got her attack kind of sucks but it's like whatever right 75 percent chance to decrease ap by 15 percent this is the attack you basically never want to be using but you have to use it sometimes because of cooldowns um even if you get up to 100 percent chance it's just not that good um the other stuff though she has two heals which is why she's so good so basically she could alternate between heals a lot of the fight she could heal one person then she could heal the team she could heal one person then she could heal the team um not you know not exactly like that but what does she do here Heal a teammate equal to 15% of their max HP plus 160% of her attack. The fact that it scales off attack is really unfortunate. The fact that it doesn't scale off like HP or something would be make this unit maybe like an S tier just overall. Um, scaling off attack is kind of weird because you don't want to attack on her. But now you kind of do because of her weird scaling. But each 10% of HP loss grants an additional 10% healing. So, right, if someone's 90% you know, only has 10% HP left, they're getting a 90% bigger heal. So this is like a, what I would call a healing nuke. You know, it basically just heals anyone up to full or almost full at the very least. Um, because it does 15% of their max HP plus 160% of their, of her attack plus potential, you know, 10% per 10% they're missing. So this is a huge HP. This heals, this basically tops anyone off that does it. Sorry, I keep doing that. How do I minimize this without, there we go. Um, and then her second one is like an AOE heal. Now this is kind of a, a, I won't say it's a bad heal. It's still a good heal. But if everyone's missing, like, 50%, this isn't going to heal everybody up to full. Um, it, this probably is going to be healing about 20%, maybe maybe 30%, right? Heals all allied espers equal to 15% of their max HP plus 100% of her attack. So it actually, on paper, it sounds like, um, I mean, it's just straight up weaker, right? The 15% of their max HP plus instead of a 160%, it's 100%, and it doesn't get the extra scaling, right? So... It's a much, much weaker heal overall, but you're probably going to get a 20 to 25% uh, of your HP heal off of this on the whole team, which is good. It's very good. You know, it just helps keep everyone topped off. It's only got a three turn cooldown, so you could use it at very frequently. Uh, but most importantly, it grants the entire team immunity for two turns. Immunity is very, very, very good. Um, a lot of enemies, especially like, they're, they're, I'm trying to think, there's one enemy in particular in the tower. Um, and sometimes in story mode, they use this move called like Pandora's box and it like hits all your allies. It like gets a speed buff to all of her allies. And then it gives all of your, all of your guys, um, like it, it's, it's like a debuff, but then like after one turn, everyone gets stunned and takes a huge chunk of damage. Like that kind of shit sucks, right? There, there's some very powerful debuffs in the game. So immunity grants you 
Not immunity to damage, immunity to being debuffed, which is very, very, very good. I assume this could be de dispelled, right? Because that's not a debuff, so you could they could dispel it. But yeah, if they have to dispel something and then put on a debuff, like that's that's a lot of effort and requires very specific units to be good. So, um, Chang Pu, very, very, very much worth leveling up here, and I highly recommend it. Now, I'm kind of a little torn between my next two because there's actually four supports that I love. Um, and you know what? I might get hate for this. I'm just going to, you know, I, I might get hate for this, but Helena, you know, a lot of people hate Helena and I think it's a little bit unjustified. Like, is she the best healer in the game? No. Is she the worst? I don't know. It's honestly, there's a possibility there, but I think Helena is like way better than people give her credit for. All three of her abilities are good and relevant. Um, and I actually watched this video from this other, this much bigger YouTuber that does dislike videos. But he kind of was basically talking about this whispered blessing, right? How this, this is, if you, without reading the text, basically, what does it do? Right? This heals one target by a huge amount and the rest of the team by a smaller amount. That's still pretty good. That's basically like both of Chang Pu's abilities in one ability, right? She has one ability that heals someone a ton and then one ability that heals everyone a little. Uh, and she has heal one person a ton and heal everyone a little, all in one ability. It is a four turn cooldown, so it's kind of long, but it means her heal on uh, auto is very, very good, right? Because it always heals the team up how you want it, right? Chang Pu does have an issue where sometimes one Esper will be almost dead, but everyone else is a little low and she'll do an AoE heal instead of the single target heal and just like the unit will die and it's very annoying. Um, but I really do like Helena a lot, right? This heal is huge. Now, crit up is not as good as immunity in most situations. However, crit rate up is a big deal. Increase your crit rate by 30%. That's a big deal. That's a lot of bonus damage that you're getting from your healer. So it's like the spot that you're giving to her as a healer slash support is kind of being made up in your lack of DPS by the crit rate up, you know? So sometimes you really do need this um this immunity but sometimes you really want the crit rate up like sometimes there's just you're gonna fight guys that aren't gonna be debuffing you um and the heal is bigger honestly in most situations especially like it doesn't matter if someone's dead like has one hp left this thing always fucking heals on the max if you target them specifically i have i don't i don't even know why but it heals so much it's like such a ridiculous heal now, I haven't leveled these up because I got... I do need to get this. This will go down to three turns. I do think Helena is worth putting... She uses... She's easy to skill up, so I think she's worth it. Um, but even Downfall is pretty good, right? Other than her ultimate, quote-unquote, which is the heal. Um, attack an enemy twice for 85% of attack, which is garbage. An another thing here, right? Um, this doesn't scale off anything, right? She doesn't get stronger with her attack. It just heals a large amount. 30% of the max HP, and then 15%, and then 10% per 10%. So it sounds like it should heal less than it does, than Chang Pu's, but it just, like, doesn't. It just heals great. Um, but this is, this is like, Chang Pu's attack right here, right? This has a percent chance to lower 15%. This is the exact same thing, but it attacks twice. So it's it goes up to 30%, right, basically, if you get both procs. It doesn't even give you a percent, right? Like, this is a guaranteed. It, I, when it, it doesn't say... I assume this is 100% or it's guaranteed. I, I think it could be resisted. So I think it's like when they don't show the percent, I I think um, I think it must be a 100% thing that they're just not listing because hers is at um 75% and it specifically says 75% chance. This doesn't say a chance. It says and does this. Um, so maybe it is guaranteed, but I swear I've seen it resisted. But this is like... This is pretty good, and you get two turn two cooldowns on it. It actually goes down to three turns, which is pretty good. So this ability, I think, is better than Chang Pu's. This ability is like two of Chang Pu's in one, and this ability is sometimes great. This is a dispel. Some like I ha remember how I said how you have to have like specific units to dispel. This is one of the units that can actually do it. Um, I really like Helena. Sometimes when you're there's just some units that you really want to dispel um, because they just have some insane buff, right? Uh, just an example would be. On that like flow rider whatever you know the the sonic um thing there's a guy that creates shields right he creates big 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 shields and you could dispel shields off units um at least that unit you can so like this is some this is a unit that i don't bring into most fights if i'm being completely honest but this is a unit that i will just replace Chang Pu with in situations where i don't need immunity 
as much or I do want the increased damage or I really really need a dispel and I honestly think Helena could be run over Changpu in most situations especially with my third unit here which is also free to play in my opinion there's gonna be an, you know what before we get to the number one let's do an honorable mention here so it'll actually be my four favorite and that's gonna be long main now this guy is a four star so you're not guaranteed to get him I did get him and I find him very very good I love this unit um, just to go over his kit very quick he doesn't do much damage in, at least in my experience but he is a disruption machine first of all his captain ability increase ally speed by 20% that is huge 20% is why am I so bad at clicking on this 20% is a big deal because you just have to be a little bit faster than the enemy so this guy's great in PvP um, very very good but also this makes him very good in story increase uh, this guy is always in my story teams or, and he's basically always in my tower teams because you want to move faster than the enemy. Now, the time where I won't use this ability is if the enemy is... If I have all my relics on everybody and I have this and they're still faster than me, then I'll tend to go with a more defensive style, like increased HP or something. But if you can outspeed them, this guy's first ability here um, has a... I haven't even leveled this up all the way. I, I got to... Look at this. Look how unlucky I got. Four, four, four. This is not what you want to see. But... Uh, deals damage to all enemies equal to a small amount of his attack. I mean, 110% is not small, but his attack isn't that big. Um, but maybe I'm just not building him for that. That's why. 100% um, chance of inflicting speed down for two turns and freeze. Freezes cannot take actions. Right? So this is huge. The way I actually build him here, um, if we come here and I take a look at the presets, let's see if I actually still have it. Is it speed dog? I think it's. I think it says. Let's confirm change. Is this it? This one should bring his accuracy. Look at plus eighty-seven percent on his accuracy. Right. This is what I run on him because I want him to be faster than everybody. Which is so. If I need to put in some speed to make him faster, I will. But in a lot of stages, he's still faster. In PvP, he might need to be faster than this even. Um, but as far as like most PVE content, he's fast enough, and this accuracy like is very very good because a lot of enemies have huge resistances, especially when you get into like purgatory story mode. Um, so, just his goal is he goes faster, he makes the whole team faster, and he freezes everybody. And then after he freezes and speeds down everybody, then you use this ability, which has an 80% chance of reducing their AP by 30%. And if they have speed down, which is triggered here. Then it lowers it all by another 30%. So this unit is pretty nuts. And this attack is whatever. It inflicts speed down, does a little bit of damage. It's actually 120% damage, which is not bad. Um, the, this, this, even this ability is not terrible, but it's kind of like you're less happy when you're not using one of these two abilities for sure. So this is an honorable mention, mostly because I don't think everyone can get this unit. Um, I would definitely run this unit over a Helena, which I do most of the time. I would either run Helena or Chang Pu most of the time, but. This guy's nuts. If you get him, you should definitely and be investing into him. But the final and my actual favorite support character in the game, you guys already know what's coming. Everyone already knows. Gabrielle. I, I thought it was Gabriella, but I guess it's Gabrielle. Um, she is just a monster. And why do I say she's free-to-play friendly? Because I am a 100% free-to-play player. I've spent zero pennies in this game other than my phone bill. Right? In, in a sense, you know, I, I've paid for my electricity, I've paid for my phone bill, but the developers of this game have gotten no money out of me. Um, so, and I got this unit. So anyone can get this unit with the proper amount of grinding and stuff like that. Maybe I got some lucky with some of my pulls, right? I got this four star, I got this four star, I got this four star. Like, my four star game is kind of on point, you know? Um, but... I did get, she's just, it's okay. Instead of defending why she's free to play, I think it's the very fact that I've spent zero dollars and I have her is by definition making her free to play. Um, but why is she so good? First of all, she has my second favorite leadership ability, probably the 30% HP. As I get harder, as I get into more and more story, if I can't outspeed stuff or the speed is not feeling relevant, um, this is helps you stay alive until your units get to attack. Losing 20% speed kind of sucks, but 30% HP is no small feat, and things, like I said, hit hard. Especially with the healers, like um, Helena and Chang Pu, they heal based off percents for most of their scaling. So, their their heals aren't, like, getting that much weaker based on your amount of <laughs> HP. So, Rush. 
Why do I go over the alts first? Because it's just insane. This is another reason why I actually like Helena more than Chang Pu in some situations. Blesses all allied espers with immunity, which is, I think, one of the main reasons you run Chang Pu. Uh, and defense up for two turns. So this is kind of defense up can be read as like a preemptive heal in a way, right? Um, it by by reducing the amount of damage you take instead of you know it's not that different in theory than it rate you know healing your HP after you taking damage. It, it, this is kind of like a shield on top of your HP in a in a way. I mean it's just defense up, but it is damage mitigation and damage mitigation is uh, very important. Uh, immunity. Insane defense up insane. The attack is not crazy good um, But it does have an attack down debuff for two turns. So damage You know immunity, right? That's insane Damage mitigation and more damage mitigation both sides attack defense up and attack down on the same not even the same unit the same ability and With immunity and it just does damage too. all of this. This ability is ridiculous ridiculously powerful now so i feel like people may not not everyone will think it's ridiculous because when you use it you don't just nuke the whole entire enemy team like you do when you're using a Li ling or using a wukong or using a tiger mama like you don't just instantly kill them all right it, it's it's a use is a little more subtle than that where you don't die so your guys all just get more turns and you're not getting debuffed by their ridiculous op debuff abilities right um We'll, we'll quickly go to Wave Breaker. This ability sucks. The fact that this ability sucks and she's so good should show you how good these other two abilities are. Wave Breaker deals damage to a target equal to 120% of attack plus an additional point of percent attack for, per point of speed, right? So it's not like it doesn't do like zero damage, but it's not, she's not a damage dealer, right? You're never stacking attack on her, like literally ever. If you come here, like. Let's look at Wukong, right? My my Wukong's at 3,300 attack, and she's going to be at, like, 1,100, 1,200, you know? It's 1,300, 1,400, you know, whatever. Point is, this is not really... It, this is not why you're running her at all. This ability sucks, and the fact that there's no special ability on it is a bit terrible, but it doesn't matter. She's still probably one of the best units in the entire game, which means... To me, I feel like they may have put an ability on this originally and removed it after she was so strong. She's like, she doesn't need, she doesn't need to be that good. And that that would have been in beta testing or something, you know. But maybe not. Maybe it's always been terrible. Um, broadside. This is another fantastic ability. Attacks all enemies three times. I think that's relevant. I mean, it makes her better in Fafnir. I mean, to be honest, this only hits once. This only hits once, so it she only has one thing that hits multiple times. But hitting all enemies three times is good in each. Oh, uh, sorry, dealing a total of 80% of attack, which is low attack, but each hit has a 50% chance of inflicting defense down for two turns. So she's very good at getting defense down, right? Um, she 50% three times. And, and, of course, that's modified by resist and accuracy, things like that. So mine currently has some accuracy, but it's almost like a side effect, right? 36% accuracy, um, which is probably going to be enough to nullify out the most default resist of units, right? Um a lot of units probably just like i have 36 accuracy without building for it other units probably have somewhere around that and resist just by having it rolled on their relics or whatever um at least now when people aren't having hyper special you know specialized relics um but so she's very good at defense down right so great at keeping the team alive great at making your damage dealers deal more damage especially if you get defense down on them and then you get a uh, a crit up with helena like this should your team is looking good. I actually might I just think I like Helena more with Gabrielle, but there are some fights where you definitely want the two instances of immunity because it'll wear off and then you want to renew it again before the enemy has a chance to do anything, especially when you're fighting guys like this on the enemy team um, because he'll just freeze your entire team and you'll get wiped. Um, so immunity could be ridiculous. But yeah, she is a free to play player. How do you get her? Um, just to quickly go over, right? Helena, you'll get for free um, when you're playing the game. Everyone already has her, but you also get her in the gotcha. Chang Pu is going to be in the gotcha. They're both three stars. The four star here is Long Main. Um, he has gotten in the gotcha. And then Gabriella, Gabrielle, sorry, is going to be acquired through the Esper Fusion. Um, and actually, this video is coming out at the perfect time because tomorrow, um, as of today, it's Saturday the 21st. On the 22nd, um, you are we are going to be getting double um drop so you need you need to get people to awaken five right um and then you 
get you have to first fuse this guy, get him to awaken five. Then you got to fuse these units and get them to awaken five, and then you could fuse more Gabriellas. Um, this is if you don't have her, this is the absolute perfect perfect time to go for her because we're gonna get the Ascension event, which is going to double all the drops of these. So you're gonna be able to easily, um, twice as easily, as a matter of fact, uh, farm this stuff up. Um, which is what all I'm spending all my energy tomorrow on exactly this. Although I'm not going to be fusing Gabrielle myself. I'm going to be maxing out the rest of my ascensions on my squads. Most of them are maxed out, but I want like the 10 speed on this guy. What is Thor's actually? Defense plus 20%. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I mean, defense plus 20% is very good with the unit that scales with defense. Um, but I'm going to be getting a lot of these characters maxed out that aren't. Honestly, Helena, you deserve it. Yeah, she deserves it. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video. It was supposed to be uh, six minutes long, but here it is at 20 minutes. That's how I do. Per platypus is per platypus. I'll see you next time. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Peace.